Hello, Geminis. This is you versus them for the 12th or the 18th. For Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, if you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe. See what we've got going on for Gemini. What you guys have been dealing with here. We have temperance. Just trying to be happy, I feel. Trying to gain some some stability in your life. Just trying to basically um, move on, I feel. Leave things behind that you feel like are not good for you. And go on towards those things I feel like that you feel are. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just trying to gain some... Um, I think like some peace, some serenity, you know. Maybe it's Sagittarius you guys are dealing with here. See what's going on for the person that you are thinking about. Maybe some of you guys are wanting to reconnect with this person too and, you know, kind of bridge the gap between you and them. You know, work things out, try to try to compromise and get along. Here's what you're thinking about or the energy around you is such, okay? They have the page of swords here. Hmm. There's something that this person has been planning and strategizing here, okay? Not talking very much about it, not sharing it, but, you know, just kind of like mapping out what it is that they want to do, how they want to go about doing it. Some of them have actually even started, um, have gone back to school, studying, learning new trades, crafts, you know, that sort of thing is what they've been doing. Um, and some of them probably have been just trying to... Um, I don't know. For some reason, I'm thinking that this person has probably been looking at um, at you, too. Okay, trying to see what kind of progress you guys are making. Stalking, but not stalking. Just observing is what I'm feeling, okay? Let's see what's keeping you guys from this person. Hmm, still feeling hurt. Still feeling betrayed. Um, feeling like this person has done you wrong, you know? It's like there there's something still there that is lingering that has not been addressed is what I'm getting here a lot of you guys want to have a conversation um, first and foremost before you even think about trying to get back together with someone you want to discuss some shit is what I'm feeling okay let's talk about it now whether or not it's about reconnecting or getting back together it's like um, we can't even talk about getting back together until we talk about the shit that's been done you know that sort of thing Let's see what's keeping them from you. They're basically feeling the same way. They're trying to figure out how to, you know, move on peacefully. Um, they they want to stop thinking about you guys is what I'm getting here. They want to leave this alone. They want to move on. But I think they're still, they, they're in this loop of thinking, oh, it's best for me to move on. I need to leave this alone. Um, you know, this person broke my heart, they did this, they did, they did that, but it's like they're trapped in their own head because all they seem to be doing is thinking is what I'm getting from this, okay? You guys are not speaking, but doing a lot of thinking, I feel. <clears throat> Let's see what is currently going on here. What's currently going on for Gemini's? What's currently going on for Gemini? Then you have a page of swords. Hmm. You guys are kind of mirroring each other in the sense that it's like both of you are thinking a lot in your heads a lot. I feel like you guys, if this is you up top, because this energy can go vice versa, you're more on this, this journey of getting over this heartbreak, feeling good again, trying to figure out how to feel good again. How can I leave this alone? How can I stop thinking about this shit? I'm just tired of it. That kind of thing. And um, I feel like this other person may be playing uh, a blame game here. But let's, let's pull some more cards and see what's going on with them. Let's see what's currently going on with the person that Gemini is thinking about here. Eight of Cups. Walking away from some energy, I feel like um, they're, they're figuring some shit out, like I said. Studying and learning, trying to figure out, um, you know, 
they're, they're wanting some rest. They're wanting some reprieve from what they're feeling. And they are currently walking away or leaving emotional, um, emotional things that hurt them behind. Trying to. Okay. Um, they have two eights here. I feel like this, this person has, you know, they go back and forth between um, blaming, blaming someone else. Um, blaming you guys and walking away like leave it alone oh I'm not gonna think about this this is not doing me any good it's like they kind of go back and forth back and forth back and forth till it's like you know what they're feeling and doing is on replay you know <clears throat> let's see what the influence is for you guys here but they're definitely leaving something behind maybe they are leaving a um, relationship behind here as well another connection hmm. Let's see. what's influencing Gemini's the wheel of fortune karma karma changes the energy is constantly shifting and changing so I feel like you guys you go back and forth as well with you know feeling the betrayal and then like oh no I'm gonna let it go it's not serving me you know back and forth back and forth you're in a cycle with this person okay but what's currently going on now is there there is a shift that is happening okay and um there's some major changes that's going on between you guys i feel major changes here hmm. and i think that's why you guys are going back and forth because um, this wheel is trying to turn and spin out. It is turning. Whether you like it or not, it's turning. And um, there are some changes that are taking place. But I feel like there's something that needs to really be um, like broken down here. Look at that. As I say broken down here. The tower. Hmm. This person's going through something here, and I feel like there's a there's a there's like this this shift, this change in their perspective that's trying to come in, but they're fighting it. They're fighting it so heavily. Okay, it's trying to break down like ugh, the blame game, blaming other people for for what you know has happened and not taking responsibility for themselves it's like something shifting to make them really kind of take a deeper look into this and see if you know they possibly had something to do with this rift or what's happening in their lives you know that sort of thing and um but i feel like they're fighting it so what's getting ready to happen is you know if you don't go with the flow um it'll happen without your input you know and that's what's going to happen here what's happened here i feel six of pentacles sharing and working with someone sharing your time with someone you know having this equal exchange with someone is is what's coming in for you guys so i feel like there's some taurus energy here aquarius um sagittarius energy is here excuse me and scorpio is here okay um i feel like you guys this is this is your person it doesn't seem like it and, and maybe you guys have felt this at one point in time but the way that they are um the way it is right now you don't you don't really see it they don't really see it you see it more than they see it they hurt you okay but they also feel betrayed here this person feels betrayed and so i think that you know this really happened is something's coming in to shake their perspective to shift their perspective but i feel like you guys this is an energy that you're sharing and you may have had several many tower moments they have too um but the universe is steady trying to um bring some awareness into play here 
is what's happening, okay? Let's see what's coming in for them. The Queen of Pentacles. Getting their emotional stability. Um, emotional, and I feel like mental stability together. Huh. There may be someone else um, that's coming into play here for you guys. Or maybe it's you guys coming in for them. Hmm. Or maybe they're coming in to try to keep you from completely walking away. Leaving them behind. Not letting you forget about them. Um, telling you they want to be with you. Fighting for this connection here. Hmm. Let's see what's blocking you guys here. What's blocking Gemini? The Knight of Cups. The fact that you guys are trying to move on and go towards the things that you feel like make you feel good. I don't think you're turning around. I don't think you're wanting to go back. You want to continue forward. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, and not willing to let anything stop you. Nothing to deter your happiness is what I'm getting from you guys. Let's see what's blocking them. Hmm. The emperor being stubborn. They're being a stubborn ass is what I'm getting here. They're not stopping you. They're not stopping you from moving on. That's what's blocking them. Very stubborn. I feel like very arrogant. Um, very kind of aloof. And sitting back like there's nothing I can do about it. So, oh well. You know. Let's see what the advice is for Gemini's here. Very Taurus energy. That's what I'm getting from this. Four of Swords. Stability. Okay. Mental stability. Not fluctuating, um, healing is what's coming in for you. And you're not letting anything deter you. That's what's coming around for you guys is healing. Okay. Letting go of, of you know, constantly thinking about what happened here, what this person did to hurt you. It's like, you, you know that energy is not serving you anymore and you're moving on past that, okay. You're only going towards things where, you know, you can have an equal exchange with somebody. You're not giving them way too much, giving too much of yourselves and, you know, just feeling taken advantage of and stuff like that. No, you're not doing that anymore. No, that's done. It's a wrap. Okay. Let's see what the advice is for them. What's the advice for them? The world the world let this go let this go let this energy go of playing the blame game trying trying not to take accountability for um, their actions to let it go because the world is ending wrap up this cycle and let's keep it moving move on please next you know I feel like this person is holding on to a lot of shit that is unrealistic it's what I'm getting from this energy let it go. Let that tower come down. The shit is not steady anyway. Okay? Stop holding on to it. They need to let it go. If they want to start over, I feel like they need to, um, to let that go and come towards you. Some of them are, are far away from you and actually need to travel to you or reach out to you. Even if they don't travel to you, like to reach out to you even is what I'm getting here. And I see what's coming in for, for them is this Queen of Pentacles. And maybe, you know, I think they will get their emotional stability in check. But I, I get this person being a little um, self-righteous is what I'm getting here. Self-righteous. Okay. And there again, you know, it could possibly possibly be somebody else. An earth energy that's coming in for them. Hmm. 
don't know. Let's see what the outcome is for you guys. And I feel like they need to learn something about themselves here with this world energy is what I'm getting here. To be a little more carefree. To, to not be so serious. To not, you know, be so stubborn. You know, that thing. That sort of thing. Two of Pentacles. Juggling. Being unsure. Unsteady. Um, kind of going back and forth. Resting. Letting things go. And then with the Four of Swords. And then you're in Three of Swords energy again. So it's like there's something that... Um, that you keep going back and forth about here. But this person's holding on to some shit. They're really holding on to some shit. And I feel like they're angry. I feel like they're very angry, this person, okay? So let's see what the outcome is for them. Three of Swords. Because they are very angry holding on to things. This tower is trying to to shift some of that energy, okay? But they're so stubborn. They want things their way. They they are self righteous. I feel, um, and just kind of oblivious to the fact that maybe you guys felt emotionally depleted. Maybe you felt like you know you would, you were giving all of yourself and not getting shit in return. Um, that sort of thing. Taking you for granted is what I'm getting here. So we have Gemini, Pisces, um, Scorpio, Aries, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energies here, Libras here, Scorp not Scorpio, I think I already said that, Scorpio, um, Sagittarius is here. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys, and I will be speaking with you soon.